I'm back with another copycat recipe, and this time it's coming straight from the Magnolia Bakery. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. today's video, I'm making copycat Magnolia Bakery banana pudding. Now let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need sweetened condensed milk, instant vanilla pudding, ice cold water, heavy whipping cream, very cold milk, vanilla extract, vanilla wafers, and some just barely ripe bananas. I've got a large bowl here. I'm adding one cup of very cold milk, half a cup of ice cold water, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, and one 3.4 ounce box of instant vanilla pudding. Now mix this until it just starts to thicken, and that should take about two or three minutes. When that's done, just cover this and refrigerate it for four hours or overnight to make sure that pudding completely sets. It's been in the refrigerator for about eight hours and that pudding is completely set. To the bowl of my stand mixer, I'm adding three cups of heavy whipping cream, along with half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now mix this until stiff peaks form. That's done, so I'm gonna set it aside I've got my pudding mixture. I'm just giving it a good stir just to loosen it up. Now I'm gonna add the whipped cream mixture to the pudding a little at a time and try to gently fold it in until it's completely combined. And I know I could have probably did this a little more gently, but it still turned out delicious. I have no choice but to mix this gently now. <laughs> My bowl is about to overflow. Next time, I'll use a bigger bowl for this. Now I'm ready to assemble this thing. I'm just using a punch bowl for this, but any kind of large serving bowl or trifle dish will work just fine. So I've got my pudding mixture along with five just barely ripe bananas that I sliced up and a box of vanilla wafers. To my bowl here, I'm gonna start by adding one third of the vanilla wafers. Try to spread them out and make an even layer. Now I'm adding a third of the sliced bananas and topping that with a third of the pudding mixture. Spread that out evenly and just try not to disturb the vanilla wafers and bananas. Now repeat that process two more times. Vanilla wafers bananas, and then the pudding mixture. Now 
I tried to stand those vanilla wafers up against the sides so I could see all the layers through the side of the dish, but I didn't quite have enough vanilla wafers. So next time, I will probably use more than one box. I ran out of banana slices, so I decided to cut up one more. I ended up using a total of six bananas. Now I'm just adding on that last layer of pudding. I had saved a few vanilla wafers to add to the top for decoration. I cover this and keep it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to serve it. I think this is always best the next day after it's had time to chill overnight. So you could always make this a day or two before you need it. It's the next day and I am ready to dig in. In case you missed anything, I'll have the full recipe linked in the description box below. This stuff is delicious. It is so good. I really hope you give it a try. And if you do, let me know what you think about it. Well y'all, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you in the next one.